Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome back. And if you're new here, just a standard welcome, I suppose. General welcome, yeah. And if you don't know who we are, I am Philly, this is Keely, and this is our Van Martha. This. <laughs> sorry, I always mock you in our intros. Really? Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you mock me. I have to do everything like 10 times because he's like, no, finger, no, what was that, American accent? What? <laughs> I can't do anything. Anyway, uh, we've taken our very beautiful van all the way from the UK across Europe. We're now in Turkey, which we're absolutely loving. And in today's video, we're exploring more of the ancient history. We're seeing old friends. More history? I know there's so much in Turkey, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, lots of animals, a bit of baking, park ups. One thing before we get stuck in, I just wanted to say how much we're enjoying Turkey. The scenery is incredible, the people are awesome. Yeah, you just have to like check back in our old videos to see how sick this place is and the people helping us when we broke down and everything and we're just proper loving it. Mm -hmm. And thankfully we got our insurance extended, yeah. which means we have more time in Turkey, more time to explore. So please hit that subscribe button so you can come along on all of our adventures. Can we get stuck in now? Let's get stuck in. Yeah. Bam. So I'm a little bit chirpy today. I've actually woke up before my morning coffee in like a reasonably happy mood. I know, it's insufferable. Maybe because it's like half ten, but um, anyway, we're gonna... No, it's because we didn't look at our phones. Oh yeah, that's true. So we did a thing today where we put our phones in the drawer last night and we're like, I'm not gonna look at my phone until like after lunchtime. And then I feel in a better, more energetic mood. So I'm gonna try this a few more days and report back to you whether this is like revolutionary or not. But anyway, right now we gotta have our morning cup, do some work, and then we're gonna hit the road and go see some sights. Right, are you gonna say anything interesting in the back? Um. No, <laughs> see you there. Yeah, baby, let's go see some ruins. Well, we heard these were nearby thanks to Cheska from Overland and Sophia, so we figured we might as well come and do 40 Turkish lira. That's like 2.20 or something to get in. Yeah, we were considering not coming because of the weather, but then we're like, hold on a minute, when's the next time we're going to be passing and freaking do it? Yeah, Spud. Spud. This is drive through. This is why I don't let Keely take control of any cameras because she's been filming for like the last 10 minutes on slow-mo. Anyway, <laughs> we've got it on real time now. Apparently Patara. This is where Saint Nick was born. Saint Nicholas, known as Santa Claus, who was born here in 4th century AD. Wow, drop that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Since coming to Turkey, We've seen a dozen of different amphitheaters, but it never gets old. No, it doesn't. You and know. they're all like in slightly different state of array, disarray, whatever, you know, but the ones that are like proper fallen down are just as interesting as the ones that have like maintained their form. That's right. are burning yeah <gasps> yeah out of breath yeah what i'm not actually joking oh, gee, I, know. I tell you what this viewpoint better be friggin worth it this is a monumental tomb that probably belonged to a very important citizen or something. So I think its purpose was for offerings and sacrifices. And apparently you can get access to the burial tomb via it. Not anymore, obviously. Let's go look it up, Chris. Maybe sacrifice you to it. What? Cool, man. 
Yeah, this is cool. Look at this view as well. Patara Beach is one of the Mediterranean region's longest beaches, at a whopping 18 kilometers long. And not only is Patara the home to Saint Nick, but it's actually also where Apostle Paul started out his journey to Rome. This place is pretty cool and full of so much history. Hi, hi. What's going on? Look at that fun. That's picture that, perfect that's right okay. there. No, I'm just thinking about how much I'm enjoying this and it's just thinking about travel and I was just in a grateful mood for what we're getting to experience right now. I'm grateful that you guys come along with us and join us on it and uh, we really appreciate all the comments and everything we get from you. So we're just really enjoying getting to share our life and I was just having a moment of gratitude for that. Oh, and I second it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. I was just like. I was expecting. I was expecting a spud, but I got a. That's because I was holding my phone. Okay, sorry. We'll try again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Haley, <laughs> what are you doing? I got. I got the microphone stuck in a branch. Don't judge me. Oh no, we're gonna climb up to that viewpoint, but we'll pick you up at the top. No, we'll secretly watch Keely stumble up the hill. <laughs> so I was just going to say that this, you can see there's some marshy land, but this used to all be like a throughway for boats and stuff. I just think it's cool that boats just came here and this was like all connected to the sea. Like it's just came to hang out? Yeah, just chilling, chilling Happy like drinks. villain. But like the sea used to also be all the way up to here. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of cool. Well, do you think global warming would have this place covered then? The sea level's rising would cover land. No, but isn't it that this portion of the world, the issue is that they have loads of sand, so actually stuff gets buried more. That mm. That's the issue here, is that the there's more and more land rising up type thing. I don't really know why, but... So we should be worried about the sand levels rising? I mean, who knows? Don't listen to us. We know nothing about science or geography, but we're happy to learn. So someone educate us. Are the sea levels rising or are the dirt levels rising or what's the crack? Who knows? What's the crack? All right there, Chumley. Uh, what happened? <laughs> it's a bit slippy, isn't it? Don't look at me, I might fall over again. You've got a big brown stain on your bum now. Do you really? Yeah, okay, did you poop yourself? <laughs> Uh-oh, no, 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 don't look at me. Don't look at me. He always catches me doing stupid stuff on camera. Well, maybe stop doing stupid stuff. Never. It echoes in here. This is like a small room, so that's quite impressive that that echoes so much. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're too loud now, thanks. <laughs> So this is apparently Harbour Street. This used to be like a big port for ships or whatever. And they did lots of like trans country trading, but they had boats made with stuff like reeds, which is pretty awesome. And I think that that would bring people or goods and they would come into this place and trade stuff. that seats like 6,000 people. And then literally like 100 meters from it, there's another one that sits like 600 people or something. This one has been much more like rebuilt, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit short for this. Hi. This place is cool. You just have those moments where you're like, wow, I can't believe we're doing this. This is how this feels today for some reason. Even though like we've been to places that are even like bigger, like Ephesus. But for some reason today just feels quite special. Yeah, having like a super humble day. Yeah. Where you're kind of taken back by everything, by the place that you're at, you know, mm. and the people that you see. It's yeah, cool. it's cool. Even though it's about to rain on us, I'm still in good mood. I know. So, just as we were leaving Patara Ruins, we got a message from Cheska saying that they are in Little Patara Village getting lunch, so it invited us along. So, crazy stalkers here going to... Guys, we're like a disease <laughs> that you just can't get rid of. <laughs> you can't shake us. So, let's go get lunch. Yes, yeah. Well, now I've got a chip in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Camera's rolling, isn't it? <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, we'll find them after getting semi lost outside. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm glad you came out and waved at us because yeah. I was like, I don't know where we are. I just got a nice silhouette of you. It's like a good portrait. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I like lucky people. You have my man. Hello, girl. Hello, girl. Hi, yeah. Come see me. Oh. Hello. Bye, Bye. Ben and Jessica. <laughs> we miss you already. Who knows? We'll probably see them tomorrow. <laughs> no one else. Oh, man. After a nice day out, seeing some stuff, hanging out with friends, we're back in the van and I've got a serious craving for some brownies. Me too. <laughs> Ingredients. I'm not sure if you can hear that pecking sound in the background, but there's a rooster that we're feeding. I'm, I'm digging, having a, a little pan rooster. Imagine he hopped up into the van. Hey, bud. Oh my word! But he's looking at me in a very inquisitive way. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh my word, I think he's coming closer to me, Philly. Oh. Yeah, stroke him. Maybe oh. that'll make him go away. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, he is gorgeous, isn't he? Look at him, he's proper, like, exactly what you imagine a rooster to be. He's coming a bit close to me. Oh no. I kind of want to stroke him, can I stroke him? Oh, you're so soft. Yeah, I'm trying to encourage him to do it. Crocodile! He's looking at me. The other one's doing it. The other one's doing it. Crocodile! Come on, do it, friend. <laughs> he did it. He did it. <laughs> you persuaded the chicken to, to crow. Ready? fun tangent but back to brownies that was a side quest make that, a chicken crew that was so fun that you, was you fulfilled your side quest for the day now I you can stroke... have these window brackets okay lovely i stroked a rooster guys did you see that you did. and then i made him crow in our van <laughs> that was fun <laughs> you love making the roosters crow in our van <laughs> <laughs> okay so after all that excitement now it's time to try and figure out the aquafaba situation i'm not sure how well it's going to whisk but it's meant to whisk up like egg whites so let's give it a go put in some brown sugar let's go there you go thick shiny voluminous are you talking about hair we're getting all the visitors today oh my work's so cute so gentle i bestow upon you the gift of the bone Okay, back to brownies. Stop distracting me with all your cuteness animals. I'm not doing a very good job of this. Come back in a minute. <laughs> Just tidied the van this morning. Tidied, cleaned, sw sweeped it all out. And look at this. The brownies will hopefully be worth it. Oh, baby. Focus on the brownies, not on me. Yeah. There's a silicone mold that people put inside their Omni Sweden, but we don't have one, we just use baking paper. And so far, we think it works really well. So, Omnia, you know, feel free to send us a free one to test it out, but we don't think it's worth it, so. But maybe we'll burn these and then you'll all be like, you should have used a silicone in there. I gotta say, the, the mix is delicious. I've gotta say, the mix is delicious. The mix is delicious, so it is. So let's get these brownies on. Can't wait. While they back, gotta get some work done. He's working hard in the background. I mean, I'm working hard in the foreground too. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube, baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If we're not in front of the camera, we're in front of our laptops. I know. And hopefully soon eating brownies. Look, baking paper work to treat. Oh. Okay, it's so good. Yeah? Mm hmm It's so good. It's very like a stodgy or something. It's proper thick, like it's almost like peanut butter consistency. It's like that's kind of stodge. Right stodge. Friggin' good.
Ahmad. I'm so happy that the sun is out. I know, it's so good. And even though it's out of season, so like, as we've said loads of times, lots of the stalls and stuff are shut and the cafes are shut. But you can tell this place would be proper buzzing. But even now, it's gorgeous. It is beautiful. All the boats. It's just really nice to walk through. Yeah, lots of wildlife, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, friends. Hello, puppy. Hello. Hello. Lots of geese. <laughs> But yeah, it just feels like lots of animals, lots of good vibes, so... I feel like I'm getting sunburned right now. So do I. I think we need to go and get in a cafe. Let's go get food. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to eat some breakfast. Get mold if I can. Uh, yeah, but I was very hungry, so I'm happy, but I'm still happy. You know, right? This is a bumpy road. Martha's been through worse. Got recommended this park up by White Van Plan. I think they're trying to kill Martha. <laughs> now nah, we've been down way worse roads than this before. This fine. Yeah, we have. It's just a wee bit bumpy. But check out this view we're driving up to. Oh yeah, baby. Oh wow. Oh, this is a spot. We can get the hammock out. So as we're sitting thinking about our journey home, we realise we don't want to leave Turkey quite yet. Thankfully we've got our insurance sorted which means we can extend our stay and check out more beautiful park ups like this. We've really been loving our time in Turkey and if you guys have enjoyed it we really hope you'll consider subscribing and join us on all our future adventures here. Thanks for watching, see you next time!